we get behind it, pull out every star. I want a happy ending, tired of pretending. said about eating too much sugar. You're right. I use sweet and low in my coffee. <laughs> it's funny how he eats now. When he was a little boy, he was such a light eater. Yeah, as soon as it got light, he started to eat. <laughs> Better ease up on that cake, Ed, before you wind up in your own mortuary. <laughs> Look at him, folks. <clears throat> I'm 42 years old, and he's still looking out for his baby brother. Relax, Carl. We're gonna dance off some of this shortcake tonight. What do you say I grab the old accordion, huh? Accordion? Oh, wow, it's almost six o'clock. Boy, well, my time. Hey. <laughs> Chief, I wanna hit the sack. We're gonna have a good time. Everybody loves the accordion. Yeah, especially us black folks. <laughs> we an instrument with that much soul, we just go clean out of our minds. <laughs> oh, come on now, we'll have some fun. I'm so proud of my Eddie. You know, he learned to play the accordion by ear. Yeah, till he was 12 years old, he never used his fingers. <laughs> Grandpa, that's an old joke. Yeah, about my age. <laughs> Come on, Ed, hit it. Now. Right, Pop. Hit it. I said hit it, Ed. <laughs> Eddie, hit it. Pop, he's already playing. Oh, yeah, well, good. I forgot to turn this up. This is the ear your mother talks in. <laughs> well, come on, Mildred. Let's cut a rug, huh? Come on, Grandpa, shake away. Greater than drop off. <laughs> come on, Samantha. Dad, can you make your stomach keep time with your feet? <laughs> I feel like a girl again. You got a good memory, Mildred. It's getting a little hot in here. You better slow down, Eddie. You're turning all red. Yeah, you're sweating like a pig. <laughs> I'll be all right. I just had to cool off a little bit. <laughs> Excuse me, Gertrude. <laughs> oh, there. Yeah. I'm cooler already. <sighs> but I have tasted better water. <laughs> Drew tinkles in there. <laughs> he must really be thirsty. Uh, Come on, Eddie, that's enough. Get your head out of there, you big lummox. Daddy, I think something's wrong. Eddie! Oh, my God, someone call an ambulance. What happened? Ah, uh, Mr. Kaniski. I'm glad you're to waking up. Me too. But where to am I waking up at? <laughs> Last thing I remember, I was sucking on a goldfish. <laughs> you are at St. Ambrose Hospital. I'm your doctor, Dr. Singh. Listen, uh, no offense, but uh, 
You talk a little funny. Where are you from? Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> a little joke. Actually, I'm from Bombay, India. What happened to me? A uh, little indigestion, huh? No. Your problem is bigger than a burp. <laughs> Your kidneys failed. Well, how could that happen? It's a combination of things. Diabetes, high blood pressure, and living your life like a total jackass. <laughs> what do I got to do? Come in here every now and then and uh, get rinsed out by this machine? In your case, Mr. Kaniski, I'm sorry. But I have to recommend a kidney transplant. A transplant? Well, that's a major operation. I, I don't think I could do that right now. Not to worry, Mr. Kaniski. I have never lost a patient yet. I know where each one is buried. Well, I guess I don't have much choice. Where's my new kidney coming from? Your best chance is to get a kidney from a sibling, of which you have one. Your brother Carl. He's waiting outside. No, I, I, I couldn't ask Carl for a kidney. I couldn't ask anyone for that. But he's the only one who can save your life. But I can't ask him. That is a very big decision. Only you can make it. Thank you, Doc. Uh, I won't stay in there too long. Carly. Hey, big guy. How's it going? I'm fine. Question is how you're doing. Oh, super, Carl. Just super. Hey, uh, how's about the two of us sneaking out of this dump and getting ourselves a couple of brews, huh? Ed, the doctor says you're a pretty sick man. Ah, what's he know? He's got his turban tied too tight. <laughs> Come on, who are you kidding, Eddie? Can't you see that you're sick? It's not me, Carl. It, it's this place. This, this hospital. It, it's full of needles and thermometers. God help you if you turn your back in here. <laughs> Eddie, you gotta get used to slowing down. Yeah, I know. I gotta start acting more like a mature adult, a grown-up. I guess it's time to put the old yo-yo in mothballs, huh? <laughs> no more whoopee cushions in the hearse. <laughs> Families didn't think they were funny anyhow. <laughs> ah, who cares? No more poker games till four in the morning either. Nope. No more junk food. Cigar smoke. <laughs> hey, Carl. You remember the time we got a hold of pot cigars, smoked them all, and got sick? <laughs> he put me off for a snake. <laughs> You threw up all over his lap. <laughs> oh, and uh, I won't be stuffing my face with uh, pizza or hot dogs anymore like we used to do down at the Sons of Warsaw. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> then we'd pick up a couple chicks and take them over to the mortuary just for laughs. <laughs> You remember how they used to scream when we'd set them down in the cold marble? <laughs> you remember us taking the Leminski sisters out on the canoe? Yeah, and then when we got them out in the middle of the lake, we told them we ran out of gas. <laughs> and they believed us in swam all. What's the matter, Eddie, huh? What is it? I'm gonna die, Carl. Oh, I'm gonna no, die. No, 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 no. Help me. With you, yeah, what? What can I do? I, uh... I need, uh... I need you to me. Thank God it's not his heart. 
That's all I can say. Thank God it's not his heart. I know it's all you can say. You've said it for an hour already. <laughs> now, what else did Carl say when he called from the hospital? Oh, honey, that was just it. All he said was that Eddie has a little problem with his kidneys, but they're gonna fix it and everything's gonna be fine. Now, come and sit down. Oh. We should never have left our little boy there alone. We should have spent the night in the hospital. I was afraid if I dozed off, they'd tie a tag to my toe. <laughs> Dad's home. <laughs> Sam, remember how you wish the mailbox was closer to the house? Yeah, well, it's closer to the house. <laughs> Hi, Thanks for bringing the mail in. Well, I'll fix this tomorrow. How's that doing? Oh, he's doing fine. Well, why isn't he home with you? Well, he's got to stay for a while longer in the hospital. It's, uh, he needs a little operation. That's all. It, 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 it's, it's no big deal. What is it, Carl? What are they going to do to my Eddie? Well, it's a simple thing. He uh, needs a little transplant. How do you like that? The guy's kidneys are bad and all he thinks about is his hair. <laughs> no, Pop, I'm talking about a kidney transplant. Why would he want a kidney on his head? <laughs> Grandpapa, I think what the chief is trying to say is Eddie needs a new kidney. Well, you can have one of mine. Mine worked great, every 10 minutes, in fact. Oh, Stanley, they don't want one of your kidneys. Well, they better take what they can get. Nothing else works down there. Uh, forget it, Pop. I'm giving him one of mine. No, Daddy, you can't do that. Oh, my God, Dad! Uh, I got no choice. The doctors say that it'll work better with me than with anybody else. Besides, it's no big deal these days. It's just like having your tonsils out. Only further south. <laughs> well, actually, Daddy, that's not quite true. Quiet, Julie. Well, listen, not all of these transplants work. If you're bucking for cheerleader, you're not making it. Dad, what's she talking about? Listen, girls, it's getting pretty late. Why don't we all just go upstairs and go to bed? Daddy, this is dangerous. A lot of people die during operations. Uh, Julie, dear, you keep flapping your lips like that. I'm going to put some crazy glue in your toothpaste. <laughs> Come on, honey, everything is going to be all right. Yeah, listen, I, look, I know we're all tired. We've been under a strain lately, you know, waiting up all night and watching, and I think that Nell is right. Why don't we all get some rest, huh? Dad, I'm scared. That is nothing to be scared about. Now, come on, off to bed, huh? Come on, Sam. Come on. You see what you did to your little sister? I don't care, Daddy. I don't want to lose you. And if you get mad at me just because I don't want you risking your life, well, that's just too damn bad. Oh, uh, the poor kid. Carl, it's all your fault. Telling her Ed's losing his hair. Grandpapa, we are all losing something. Not all of us, Nell. <laughs> time we all hit the sack. Well, that's a great idea, you sexy little thing, but I've got to be getting home. <laughs> you shouldn't talk that way in front of the old ball and chain. <laughs> Stanley, are you all right to drive? I mean, you're not too tired or anything, are you? Who, me? <laughs> I'm fit as a fiddle. I could drive to Philadelphia without batting an eye. <laughs> you sure, Carl? You sure everything's all right? Everything is going to be all right. There's going to be, it's just going to be fine. It's really going to be fine. Now I want a simple funeral. <laughs> uh, Chief, you're not going to die. Listen, once we go under the knife in there, there's no telling what can happen. The Eddie ought to me. I want to ask you something. Okay. Look, if something goes wrong in there, and for some reason or other I don't come back, I want you to take the kids. What do you mean, take them? I want them to be your kids. I want you to bring them up. Uh, whew. what about, uh, 
Grandma and Grandpa, I mean, they're your family. Uh, Nell, they're too old. I mean, they can barely take care of themselves. Ma has to help Pa put his teeth in. <laughs> Sometimes he gets them in backwards and he bites his own tongue. <laughs> Besides, this is what Margaret would want. And it's what I want. Chief. You love him, don't you? Of course I love him. I... Don't let me down on this one. You can't let them down. You're all they've got. All right. Okay. Good. Because I already put it in my will. <laughs> you had to be of sound mind to make a will. Come on, this is serious. Now, you'll get the house, of course. Oh, Miss Scarlett, you mean you're leaving me, Tally? <laughs> then there's my police pension. Why don't you leave me your gun, then I can go out and get some real money. <laughs> there's a small savings account at uh, Glenlawn Savings Bank. Yeah, what about the money in your pockets? It's all yours. And, of course, my bowling ball. Yes, yes, your bowling ball. I can always paint two eyes on that ball and use it for a wig stand. Uh, I better keep my body in shape. I don't want to give my brother a pickled kidney. <laughs> <laughs> well, I better hit the sack. Okay. Chief, one more thing. Um, you know nothing is going to happen to you. I know that, and you know that. Because if something was going to happen to you, we wouldn't be standing here talking like this. I mean, I would be saying something stupid like, uh... If anything ever happened to you, I would miss you. But see, I didn't say it. I'm not going to say that. Okay. I'll forget you said it. All right. Good night. Good night, Mom. Dad, are you all right? Samantha, what are you doing here? Just watching you. I had a hard time sleeping after all that stuff Julie said. Your sister and her big mouth. Yeah. She's a real pain in my butt. <laughs> Dad, I know you love Uncle Ed. But how could you do something like this? I mean, you never even asked us. Well, honey, sometimes you don't have any choice. Uncle Ed is my brother, and I gotta help him. But I'm scared. Honey, you'd do the same thing. Come on. I mean, suppose one of your sisters needed a kidney. Which one? Uh, it doesn't matter which one. I mean, you'd, you'd, you'd still do the same thing. I know. Because that's what love is. It's when you care enough about somebody that you'd be willing to give up a part of yourself, maybe all of yourself for them. Your Uncle Eddie needs a kidney, and got to give it to him. Well, couldn't he get it somewhere else? Like from a laboratory animal. <laughs> you mean like a monkey or a rat? No. I was thinking more like a horse. <laughs> I mean, what if your kidney conks out like Uncle Ed's and you need your old one back? Well, would you want something after it's been an Uncle Ed? <laughs> Do it no matter what? Yeah. What's the matter? I'm gonna go to hell. <laughs> what do you mean? Daddy, God's gonna hate me. I'm thinking terrible things. I just wish Uncle Ed would die so you wouldn't have to do this. Hey, hey, hey. I don't want to be an orphan. Hey, now look, now look, look, listen to me. 
I promise you, I'm not going to die. Everything is going to be all right. Really? Cross my heart and hope to... <laughs> well, I didn't mean to put it that way, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. Dad, can I sleep here tonight? Come on. Oh, let's get some rest, huh? Daddy, are you sleeping? Well, I'm trying to. <laughs> I was just on my way to the bathroom, and I thought I heard a noise. But the bathroom's the other way. <laughs> as long as I'm here, I might as well get in bed. <laughs> Hi, Dad. They sent me over from the fire department to check for overcrowding. Oh, I'm glad to see they're on their toes. Well, it's good to see you. Why don't you join us, huh? Come on in. It is crowded, isn't it? We'll be okay as long as Nell doesn't show up. of me inside you making things work right for a change. Now all he needs is a brain transplant. <laughs> I don't think Woody Woodpeck is gonna give his up. <laughs> Carla, I just want you to know that I think this is the nicest gift you've ever given me. And I'll think of you every time I use it. <laughs> Grandma, I'm going to miss your boys when they leave. Uh, we have very much in common. You're right, Doc. I don't believe it. 700 million Indians. And we wind up with Ganga Dinsky. What the hell is this? 